I'm excited for this. I don't know if I'm excited just because it's Kojima. I don't know if this was anybody else. If I'd be like, this looks fucking rad. No. Because I got stupidly hyped for this when I watched this the other day. Stupidly hyped. Like, after uh, after having watched it? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, I was on that train, too. Okay. Because, like, I, I feel like... So it was. Yeah. I didn't board... I don't think I boarded that train. Like, I watched it, and I got I more... Weird, but... I, I like that I got to see more of what this game is, because prior to this, I still had no fucking clue what this game is. And honestly, after the trailer, I still don't know what the game is. I'm more into the story. Like, the story part of it has me kind of excited... I'm still kind of confused of what the gameplay is going to actually it's be. Fu- it's fucking Metal Gear. I mean, it does kind it's of just Metal like Gear. Metal Gear. And if you'd want to... With Norman Reedus. If you want to go even further and you could compare it to another game, the way they're using tall grass and shit, it's just fucking Horizon. It's that engine, first of all. And it's just Horizon. It's just Horizon Zero Dawn, but Kojima. I kind of laughed a little bit because I was sort of getting into it. I'm like, okay, I'm seeing more what this game is about. This is kind of nice. And then I cracked up when it almost seemed like it was supposed to be this epic moment when he pulls a ladder out of his pants or something. <laughs> I love that. He goes up. I mean, it was cool, but I'm just like, at first I was just sort of like, really? Like, this is your big thing? Ladder mechanics. I love that there was so much gameplay in it. I didn't think we were going to get that much gameplay out of this trailer. Yeah, but I'm still like, I'm still thrown. I'm like, I want to know what the gameplay is going to be. It's a third person. It does seem, man. It definitely does feel like a Norman Reedus Metal Gear. It's fucking Metal Gear Cross Horizon. And then I'm excited. Two of the greatest things to ever exist, so. I'm excited at, like, I like the spookiness level of it. Yes. Like when he, when Norman Reedus says whatever it, like there's a line where it says something like, especially when you're interacting with people from the other side or whatever yeah. he said, and then it shows all that. I'm like, okay, like mm-hmm. that's cool. Um, Cause I'm a sucker for anything that's like that, mm. but I'm still firmly on the fence. I think with okay. this, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to just be like, Oh, I'm it's Kojima. I'm in. I'm all in. You know I, what I mean? I, I've tried to um, separate myself from that this week since this uh, trailer came out. And I love the way it looks. Um, I loved Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, and I loved the way Metal Gear Solid V played. Like, it wasn't... That's the thing. Like, if if that game could have been more refined mechanically, it is... I know everybody says, including myself, that Metal Gear Five was the best playing Metal Gear game to date. Which it was, but it was still severely lacking in the gameplay department as, you know, compared to other games. And I think that having an engine that is already so finely tuned for this style of video game with the Horizon engine, yeah. I am super excited to... It's like, I, I got stupidly excited for the first Rage video game because that was the first game to come out after Bethesda bought id Software. So I was under the impression and under the hopes... That we were going to get a Bethesda style story, like a Fallout 3, but with id style mechanics like Doom and other things. Apparently that's what Rage 2 is, and I should really play that, because it, apparently it's just fucking Doom. Um, but yeah, and, and I ended up being let down by Rage, because the story was lacking. Severely lacking. And there was nothing to pull me forward through that game. Uh, but I am hoping that this really is the outrageousness and paranormal and weirdness that Metal Gear Solid has always, you know, treaded on with an amazing playing video game like Horizon Zero Dawn. And just by watching it, that's kind of what it feels like. I haven't played it. I haven't touched it. Who knows? It may end up being terrible. But this is going to be... See- this is something I'm going to buy day one. I'm going to play the fuck out of this game. And I'll probably try and convince myself to like it even if it's bad. <laughs> wow. One <laughs> of those. Game. You're going to be one of those people. Yeah, right? I am. The way people are about Red Dead 2, mm-hmm. that's how I'm going to be about this game. Even if this game is fucking terrible, you won't hear me say that. I mean, watching the trailer, like, like I got excited at the idea because I really, for me, and it was my first one, and so I hold that near and dear. Is like I, I wanted, I started to feel... I'm like, man, if I can get the feelings I had when I played Metal Gear 4 Mm -hmm. while playing this, like, that's exciting. But, you know, Metal Gear 4 wasn't really open world, right? Like, it had, had, it, like, it was open. It was open. I don't know. I I, I would almost rather it be more like that than be, and this very much seems like it's going to be open world. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll see, though. Like, I'm not against that, too. I mean, it definitely, like, 
I'm excited at the prospect of playing some big, grand, epic Mm -hmm. adventure or whatever the fuck you want to call it. This is the part I would think I was talking about. Yeah. Um, But uh, I'm going to I'm still going to wait and see. Because honestly, if I'm being totally honest with you, everything they've shown before this, I was excited because I do like Kojima and I wanted to see what his next next project was going to be. But I was never really blown away by anything like by those teasers. Oh, no. Those teasers were fucking. Yeah. There was nothing of substance in any of those trailers. They yeah. looked really cool, and that's about it. Yeah. Um, yes, but, we are live. But again... It's a trap. Oh. Um, fucking Norman Reedus, uh, Nicholas Reffin, who's a director but playing a character in the game, Guillermo del Toro, same thing, Mads Mikkelsen, who's awesome, uh, fucking Lindsay Wagner. I was like, whoa, yeah. whoa. Whoa. And Troy Baker. Yeah, yeah it was the, the cast in this is probably the thing that hooked me the most. Yeah. Um, I mean, the game looks fine, but I felt like we, the, you know, the thing's been getting hyped for so long. It's like I've lost interest in this. Um, I, I have looked at some YouTubers' uh, analysis on this and what they kind of think it is. 20 things you missed in the Death Stranding trailer. Not one of those, no. This, this person <laughs> that, I, that I watched uh, is... <laughs> pretty analytical he, he's really he's really uh uh he's done a lot of the uh, silent hill uh analyzed a lot of silent hill games mm-hmm. so i kind of respect everything that he does what's the channel that's notorious for doing what you just were what you're talking about but what you oh just there's like a channel um, they fucking they'll take a, a minute long zelda trailer and yeah. it'll be for 40 that's <laughs> fucking i don't know but i know i know what culture does it a lot with things uh, yeah. yeah but i don't know who does it for okay video games. Uh, but yeah, i know what you're talking about yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Alt coin daddy, thanks for the one bit. Yeah, cool. <laughs> we appreciate the one thank bit. Thank you, thank you, thank uh, you. Anything you give us is very much appreciated. These names, fucking fragile and goddamn diehard man. Mama. <laughs> Dead man. There he is. Ugh. Oh, Nicholas Winding. Yeah, it's diehard man. <laughs> yeah, two direct, two pretty good directors yeah. in this. I think the trailer is what's making it. What is what's giving me vibes of it feeling more like Metal Gear Four. Okay. Like, just because it feels more story oriented than f- like I mean I didn't play much of so five. So the first eight hours of five are great like that, mm-hmm. but then you can see where the relationships start to fall apart in that game. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, dude, I'm excited for this fucking game. It looks so cool. Like it just looks cool. I like everybody involved in it. Uh, I again, if it's bad, I'm gonna say it's bad. But I wanted to fucking throw shade <laughs> at Red Dead people who think that game is the greatest thing walking the earth when it's not. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I got yeah. I just oh, I forgot about this part. I'm really I don't again. I know I should need to temper expectations, but I got yeah s- temper on temper. I got stupidly hyped for this game after watching this. I watched this like three times in a row. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I watched it right away. Um, and like I said, I'm excited, but I, I just, I'm still, I'm still on the fence. Mm-hmm. I want to wait and see. <clears throat> um, yeah, uh, I'm still like, I don't, I'm not going to buy this day one. I'll probably wait to see what you, okay. you say. Um, just cause like, I'm not too interested in it. Like the hype just kept Kills going down. Right yeah. <laughs> oh, it does look like Killzone. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I really? think it looks nice. I think it looks great, but um, I don't know. It just it didn't, it doesn't call to me. So I'm not like I'm not gonna say. And yeah, you're gonna spend most. Sorry, you're gonna spend most of the time like by yourself and like making ladders and whatnot, trying to get around the around these like Death Eater type floating thingies. I don't and, know. And, and that's something I love about uh, survival horror video games is finding ways around and not having to interact with the things the that... The puzzle element. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, know, I know that exploration yeah. really speaks no, to you too. I mean, that's why I like Breath of the Wild. That's why I like what I've liked from God of War and other games and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uncharted. Um, I'm not going to say what Rick said and say I'm definitely not buying it day one. I'm going to wait to see what you say. I just want like I say a lot on the show, I just want to hear more. And then I will make I, a decision on if I'm going to buy it on day one. And if we're being real, I honestly don't think this is coming out in November. <laughs> I really don't. I don't think there's ever been a fucking Hideo Kojima game that's come out on its original announced date. Yeah, at the same time, though, we've been hearing about this game for how many years now? It Should wouldn't surprise me if November like is actually three. the time. Three. Three years? Yeah. Oh, and, but he didn't have to build an engine from the ground up, so that's a good thing. He could kind of just throw the art assets on it which is good mm. so maybe that would help the uh 
the game to get done faster. But I thought this was going to be like four, five years before we. I think a lot of people I, I thought, thought it was going to be gonna PS five. Yeah. yeah. Whereas I thought I I don't know we still could, but I doubt it now. I thought we were going to get uh, Last of Us two this year, but now I feel like that's not coming out till PlayStation five. That makes you wonder, doesn't it? Because I, I had them flipped, man. I yeah. thought I thought we'd be getting uh, Last of Us two this year. And I didn't think we'd ever get Death Stranding because Sony would put millions and millions and millions of dollars into it and then be like, man, we got to just, we got to cut bait here because uh, yeah. this isn't happening. But yeah, now I feel the other way. I think that, yeah, this will be here and I don't think we'll get Last of Us 2 until PlayStation 5. PlayStation 5. Yeah. yeah. Which is weird. But I guess not really that weird considering... Uh, they really couldn't start development in earnest on Last of Us 2 until uh, Uncharted was fucking yeah. completely put to bed and done. I know, right, it was like a week after Uncharted came out, they had that trailer for Last of Us 2, but they couldn't have been working on that for, for very long because they had to get Uncharted done and out the door first. Or it could end up being like a Zelda situation. Yeah. Where it comes it out on both. both. But if it's, I mean, as for backwards compatibility, what does it matter then? What's that? If it's like the backwards compatibility is going to be there, then what? What the fuck just is the for point of having that, two SKUs? Just for people that don't want to buy a PS Five right out the gate, like you. Well, but yeah, I mean, okay, but then what? Where do they hurt? It doesn't hurt them at all if they just if they don't put PS Four or PS Five on the box. If it just says PlayStation on the box, because Five is going to be backwards compatible because it's going to be architecturally very similar to the Four. Right. So but it's just a matter again if people don't buy the PS Five out of the gate, but they want to play Last of Us, they could play it on PS Four. Yeah. It was the same deal, like, people, okay. if people, you know, what was it? Yeah, people want to play Breath of the Wild on the Wii U, they could have. Yeah. Wii U? Yeah, Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wii U. Yeah. Uh, you better, did you get overcooked yet? You better put that in your thing before Tuesday. Mm-mm. I'll get it. Oh, uh, Wolf, thanks for the 100 bits. Oh, nice. Thanks, man. Uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Wolf. Appreciate thanks that. For coming by for most of the show. <laughs> yeah, it was All of the show pretty marathon much. Marathon yeah. show. Yes. Um, six o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> I could have. I mean, we, I, we couldn't have predicted it, but I'm just thinking, like, man, I could have slept more, but it's fine. So I'm very excited. I'm kind of bummed that you guys aren't as excited as I am. No, dude. I and I'm not saying you're the not excited. The seeds are planted for yeah. me to be excited, but I just feel like I need some more fertilizer. Because I was the one when they some first, water. Like, not between us, but in general, I was the one that was like, okay, that looks fine, but I need more. Okay, it looks mm-hmm. fine, I need more. I finally feel like I got what I felt like I needed. I, I, like, I think the only thing, not the only thing, but one of the things that's holding me back is I feel like there's a lot of things in that trailer where there's it's like just sort much. of confusing. Like, there, we're seeing these babies and then we're seeing these things come out from the dead and all this other stuff. And I think it's just kind of a lot that I'd almost wish that... What if, what if and maybe babies, it's the trick. What if the babies are disposable and that's your respawn mechanic? I mean, I mean yeah, that's maybe. What it is. <laughs> but I, it has something to do with, again, that's, earlier when we were talking about what was it? Good fabric, haunted fabric, yeah. fine, fine fabric, in whatever fabric. it was in fabric. Yeah. Uh, it's something to do with the presentation. It just, I feel like there's so much going on that it feels a little convoluted to me that it's sort of just like, okay. Welcome to a Kojima trailer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> That is true. His trailers are they're all, and and I know, I know, but yeah, I hear what you're saying for sure. If it was, and I guess I'm not shocked by that because every trailer for every Kojima game that's ever come out has been like this. It's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like there's elements in the trailer that I'm like, oh, I can really get behind that, and then they take that, or then yeah. they move on from that and switch gears, and it's, it's kind of like. Oh, the soup is really good, but I don't want, I don't like bell peppers, but I like everything else in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I got you. And so that's kind of where I'm at with it. Like, I want to like it. I feel like I probably, gun to my head, I feel like I probably will end up getting the game unless I hear that it's fucking awful or if just something about it just doesn't speak to me. Right. But right now I'm just on the fence. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I kind of feel the same way too. 